on behalf of Captain Edward John Smith and his crew, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our Your Manchester passengers and wish a pleasant and memorable journey on our titanic maiden journey to New York City. There's a world out there that at my age I'm only just discovering. I'm like a little kid with new toys really, seeing things for the first time and that is really what I get out of your Manchester. Um, I love all the guests I've had on as well, um, I'm not going to pick one because that would be totally unfair, um, but yeah it's good being in, in the corner because I can actually get lots of friends on and chat with them and entertain you as well. Well we are here with an icon and I'm not talking about Belinda, Yay! I'm talking about Hilda Bugden B, based on the <laughs> lovely Hilda Ogden from Coronation Street. It's going to be at King Street from Monday, but it's here with us now. It's fantastic, and I know one person that's sadly stuck in the studio would absolutely love this. Uh, could it be our oh, Hayley? Is, is this one of her mates? It's probably one of her best friends, yeah. Let's hand over to her and see what she's got to say she brings us this week's So Gossip. <laughs> Hiya, I'm Hayley and I have a lovely guest for you today. It's my friend and Hollyoaks actor, Annie Wallace. Hello. Hi, I'm Hayley and I'm here with one of my very best friends, Simone Holmes. Hi, I'm Hayley and sharing my beanbag today is Louise Wilson. And on my beanbag today, I have my bezzy, as they say, Brookside star, Stephen Donald. Welcome, Steve. Do you know what another highlight of mine is? Go on, Mark. Right, when we do our show, mm -hmm. right, and you, you go like this and you get your little things in there. And then there's nothing on it. <laughs> You're not meant to give that away. Just thought, <laughs> I just thought I'd kind of say that, you know, smoke and mirrors. And the other thing, if we're, if we're you know, in tit for tat, the other thing is that uh, when we're over in soap co um, Sport Corner, yeah. and Michelle doesn't really know what's going on, and um, when she loses the, the, the will to live, basically, don't you? Finally, there's field hockey, which is the one that we know. That's a funny name. Field hockey. Oh, is that not a name? That's a different type of That's sport. That's a different right. type. Okay. It's, it's still hockey, but it's a, right. Once again, it's eleven aside. Eleven aside. Eleven aside, and it's played with the ball. Yes. And a small net. And these are solid balls we're talking about, are they? Solid. Yeah, they solid. are. Yep. Mm. Back to the childhood again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> they really hurt when they hit you. Mm. <laughs> But, sorry. <laughs> 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 it was bad enough with the masseur last week, wasn't it? Oh. Ah, dear me. I was going to say, when they hit your head, it's really painful. It <laughs> certainly is. Could be worse, it could hit your chin. Mm-hmm. And it's all... <laughs> um, the... <laughs> sorry, I've just caught, I've caught up with that one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, winding, darling. Right, uh, it's the... Just a little bit of history. It is the, the Netherlands in the Netherlands. It's the second most popular team sport. <laughs> and if you go at weekend, oh, all, all the families are out together. Oh, she's gone. Bless her. All the families are out together. Yeah. Um, and you go to the local sports set, uh, facility and they're all there playing hockey. It's just ah, massive. It's great team. Well, there have been a few moments where the giggles have got the best of me, but I think there's a little bit of innuendo that goes on. And because I was the head girl at high school and it all goes on my head whereas i was just good at giving head boy so um <laughs> kind of all worked shall we let the camera roll mm. and let's go and see some of these highlights and you can check them out yourself yeah. snooker is all the colors are worth different points aren't they and that's yeah. a thing that i can't get in my head around mm. i like a game of pool because i know where i'm at if i'm stripes mm -hmm. or i'm like yeah. dots or dots whatever are, yeah. then that's fine but when it comes to colors right well basically Nice and simply. The reds are worth a point each. Okay. Then it's the yellows too. I like potting the brown. Mm -hmm. mm. I go for the pink myself. Yes. Um, then, sorry, I've gone by yellow. Mm. Uh, green is. Are we up to two, three? Uh, oh, I've lost the clip. Anyway, the last bit. And the last seven one. Is, and the last one is the black. Well, you yeah. don't do that until the very end, do you? you no, know, that's. Uh, well, when you're cleaning the tables, no. No. But you can use them. Every time you strike the ball and you pot a, uh, a red ball, you then get the opportunity to then go to pot a colour. What about the length of your queue? Uh, it's dependent on yourself, really, because different sizes, different people. Right. Does different size make a difference? Size does matter, yeah, mm -hmm. because it's just because of your basic body height. I mean, otherwise you could be like that. Funny if it was only a kiddie one. I like the rests, because they come in different That's shapes, it. don't they? Yeah, you've got the spiders. Yeah. The big ones. Yeah. And, uh, also, you can extend your queue if you want. Yeah. By having the little extension on the end for having a, a, the 
you get the extended rest. Oh my And then God. you just... Have you never played snooker? Do I look like I've played snooker? I had more important things to do, like drugs. Oh, now geez. listen! <laughs> Series 2 of Sorry. Oh. Newspaper Boy was a really wonderful play because the part that you played in that was... Um, I played that was a long time ago. The part was... Like what was the character then? Describe yeah, the character. Yeah, yeah. He was, so he was, um, uh, he was this guy who, <laughs> Max, Max, that was his <laughs> uh, So I was this part and I played Max in the Newspaper Boy. Listen, thank you very much for all your time. He's been here all day, everybody. He's just been watching. He's been watching me get ready and everything. Oh, I bet you found that hard, haven't you, Belinda? research. <laughs> I tell you, I can't cope. I found it very difficult, actually, yes. Very difficult. Not hard at all, <laughs> unlike some. Now, anyway. I've been on holiday. You've been on holiday. You've come back with a, a Benidorm attitude. I love it. It's wonderful. There's nothing in that. Do you see that? No, we don't, we don't actually drink in this place. I've got perno. We just do it for product placement. It just makes us look popular. Uh, lovely. Oh, no, I'm going to laugh now because I just have to do this bit. It's that hard. Okay. Ready? ready? In three, two. Hi, I'm Belinda. And I'm. What, what, what am I? Michelle. I am Michelle. I'm not called Michelle. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. Oh, she's oh, right. Don't. Hello and welcome to this week's Your Manchester. It's not working. There we go. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, next tonight we're going to be finishing our Greater Manchester Fringe shows with the first of two productions. Joining us now we've got Paige Gadsby and we've got Rachel Moose and they're here to just talk, talk to us. I'll put my D's back in about a show. Yeah, Jack Cow. There you go, that's what it's called! No, me? that's what it's that's called! I'm sorry, but that's what it's called! What is it? Tell us all about it! I'm so sweaty today, I do apologise. It's alright, it's alright, just call me a cow. No, <laughs> tell us about the show. Move on. <laughs> hey, oh, a halo eye means something totally different to me. Oh. Mm, mm. <laughs> I don't get that. No, no. <laughs> I didn't think you ever would get that, to be honest. But anyway, read your little words. Go on. <laughs> You want to go back on that, don't you? <laughs> a halo eye! Even he giggled! Who giggled? Him! A halo eye! I have to stand up now to scroll back. Oh, God, that won't happen very often. <laughs> there we are. Back the door, right, yeah. come on then. <laughs> I nearly saw my halo eye. Do you get it now? Hello? No? No? <laughs> I'm not explaining nothing to you. It's good when you're so innocent. A halo eye! Well, that means something different to me. Have you been drinking my gin? I have indeed, yes. Anyway, right, that really is all we have time for today. On Tuesday, we talk the black stuff with Holly Morell and Liz Kearney. Oh, plus our sister is back and tells us a lot more from this world of sports. Until then, take care. Subscribe. And enjoy <laughs> your Manchester. Manchester. We'll do that again, oh. won't we? <laughs>
is who did all of this. So, so talented. And Ant is the one that designed our lovely bee. Mm -hmm. So that's all going on on there as well for and you. And we've also got Maeve with Love, so it's going to be absolutely jam-packed as ever. So, what have they got to do? They've got to, they've got to subscribe and make sure you watch it next week where... <laughs> You're Manchester! Manchester. There we go, and that's a wrap, people.